It is my honor and pleasure to introduce my friend, Michael O'Leary. Good evening. Good evening. It was a, uh, it was a real honor to be asked to speak here tonight uh, about a program that I think very highly of. Uh, and I was asked to speak here from the perspective of an employer, which is a little bit hard to follow such passionate talk about the wonderful impact that this program has on individuals. But I'll do that because I think it's important for the employers and the potential employers out there to understand just what partnering with Operation New Hope and Ready for Work and now Ready for Work Hillsborough County through A. Brown Ministries uh, can do for your organizations. And I'll step back and give a little bit of history on this uh, and how Ready for Work came to us the first time. It was October of 2011 and I remember Chad Hoffman who I had uh, met with in a, in a previous job that he had had uh, called and said I'm, I'm with this program called Operation New Hope and what it, would you let me come in and, and chat with you about the program that we're running. And I thought it was a charitable program or something, and they were going to ask for a donation. And I said, sure, come on, come on by. And he came in, and he, uh, he sat down, and he said, well, um, you know, here's what we're doing. We're trying to get jobs for folks who have been incarcerated. And I immediately, I will tell you, just shut down. Because we're a 42-year-old company. We do not hire folks with records. We just don't do it. That was, that was the policy. And it was a policy that had been built on experience that we'd had over decades uh, in terms of the success of placing people in jobs and the impact that they'd have on the organization. And, uh, but I, I knew Chad, so he kept talking. And he said, he said, wait now, hear me out. This is what we're doing. He says, we're a little bit different uh, than just somebody coming in and asking you to give a job to somebody uh, out of a sense of goodwill. He said, what we'll do is, We'll bring the folks in. We'll bring them, and it's a voluntary program. So if they come to us, they want to make a change in their lives. And that was, I thought, at, at that point, he got my attention. He says, this isn't something that's mandated. This is voluntary. So if they're coming to us, it's because they're ready to make a change. He says, and then we're going to mentor them. We're going to talk to them. We're going to give them the life lessons that they either hadn't gotten before or perhaps had gotten and just not been ready to hear. Hear. And he says, and then we're going to uh, do the background checks. We're going to do the drug testing. We're going to coach them on how to behave in the workplace, how to be successful, how to partner with you, and how to provide service to your clients in a way that is effective and will drive success for your company. And I thought, okay, well, now, now, we're, now we're talking. So you're going to take on the background checks. That's expensive. You're going to take on the, uh, the drug testing. That's expensive. You're going to vet these folks. You're going to coach them. And then he said, and when they're out on the job, if there's a problem, we're going to come out and meet with them out there. Or we're going to, uh, we're going to take them back in uh, to Operation New Hope, and we're going to meet with them there, and we're going to explain to them what they need to change about their behaviors. And I said, okay. Well, we have a division that is focused on contract, uh, contract work. It's manufacturing work. It's all contract-based. And I had an incredibly high turnover rate. It's not high paying, they are not high paying jobs, they are assembly jobs. Um, and when we brought folks on board, we would very rarely make it through an entire project without, uh, without turning over most of the line staff uh, over the course of, you know, over the course of a year, it was a year long project. So uh, that, was a, that was an expensive proposition for us. We spent a lot on human resources, we spent a lot on training, and our profit margins were inevitably impacted by that. So I said, well, we'll give this a shot. We have a new project coming up. Uh, I can't remember how many people we needed, 20 people or so. And uh, he says, I can, I can bring those people to the table. I said, great. So uh, we said, let's do it. My turnover rate dropped 80%. Our profit margins went up 30%. The people that came to work were excited to be there. They wanted to do a great job. They wanted to show that there was something different about them now. 
some, they wanted to show us as an employer. I've come to learn they probably wanted to show their family that there's something different about me now. You can count on me. I'm going to be at work. I'm going to come home. I'm going to do what I need to do to be a good member of society, a good employee for this employer, <coughs> and a good member of the team. Since then, we've employed about 150 folks, and maybe a little bit higher than that now, uh, through, a, through that specific division. And, well, thank you. <laughs> That's really uh, applause due to uh, due Operation New Hope. It, they have made a tremendous impact on our bottom line. It, it, is, uh, it, is a, uh, it is not something that we did out of a sense of altruism. We did it because it made good business sense. I just can't stress that enough when I'm talking to employers. This isn't just about being a good community partner. That's great, and there's a lot of ways as business owners we can be good community partners. This is about improving your company's performance. That's our, that's our mission. I mean, all of us have a mission statement within our corporations, and our mission is to do well and to make, you know, to make profit. This is a more profitable way of doing business, I can tell you, than what we were doing before, which was just not succeeding. Uh, so the, uh, the, folks that, uh, the folks that came through often moved on to full-time positions in other, uh, in other companies. Many of them transitioned over to full-time positions within our organization. So they shifted from contract work to full-time work. And we continued to see that commitment and that desire to, to, to do well and to succeed uh, they went on to go and get greater education uh, and to take advantage of some of the programs that are offered through our local university system, uh, through some of the continuing education programs that are offered uh, through University of North Florida, which uh, Operation New Hope has partnered with. And I would strongly encourage uh, a partnership for Abe Brown Ministries and Ready for Work with any of the local universities and training centers to help, uh, help provide skills to those who come on board and, and who go through your programs. But at the end of the day, uh, this, was, this was probably the best thing to happen to that division uh, ever, period. Uh, great employees. Uh, and what we needed as an employer was an opportunity to recognize that you cannot paint everyone with a broad brush and make good business decisions that way. Operation New Hope exposed that. Uh, they showed that there is, uh, there is hope uh, and there is opportunity and there is the chance for businesses and these individuals to come together in a very successful way. And I am very excited uh, to see this expand into Hillsborough County through A. Brown Ministries. This is gonna be very, very impactful for your community. It is a, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I hope that those who are in the audience tonight and who are in a position to look at your organizations and find ways to uh, open those doors to the clients that come through A. Brown and Ready for Work will do so. You will not be disappointed. You will be very, very pleased with the results. I can assure you that it has never been something that we have regretted. Uh, I'm always happy to talk about it. I'm happy to speak to anybody as, that's an employer that might want to chat about it or might think that there's a, a potential for their organizations to do what we have done. You can call me anytime and I will be, I will be forthright with you and, and as to what we found when we, when we worked with these folks. Uh, and, uh, and I will tell you exactly, exactly what to expect. Uh, and it's really, it's all good, so. Thank you very much for having me tonight.